Welcome to Moo Math. Today we're going to look at the rules for 30, 60, 90 right triangles. These are shortcuts and they're also SAT tips for the special right triangle rules of 30, 60, 90. Okay, let's look at the formula that you're going to get on the SAT or really any standardized test. Um, you're going to be given a triangle and you'll have one angle marked as 90 you'll have one angle marked as 30, and so the other one must be 60, so identify where your 30 and 60 degree angles are. Now opposite your 30 degree angle is what we are gonna call the shortest leg. This is the short leg, and then opposite the 60 degree angle, that one is your long leg. So if I refer to the short leg, it's the angle opposite the 30 degree angle. If I refer to the long leg, it's the angle opposite the 60 degree angle. And then of course the hypotenuse is always opposite the right angle. Now the rules are very simple. The very important side that you need is the short side. If you have the short side, it's very easy. You just double it to get the hypotenuse, or if you have the short leg, you can multiply that short leg times the square root of three to get the long leg. Okay, and if you're given this long leg, you're gonna have to do some fancy dividing to get the short leg and then double it to get the hypotenuse. If you're given the hypotenuse, of course you can half it to get the short leg. And then once you find that short leg, you'll again work and multiply to by the square root of three to get the long leg. So let's see this theorem in action. Okay, so here's our 30, 60, 90 we're going to start with. So the 30 degree angle's up here. This side is 6. So this angle over here must be our 60 degree angle. So let's evaluate. What are we given? Well, here's the smallest angle. So this opposite side, 6, is our short leg. Okay, now to find our long leg, let's go up and use our rules up top. All I'm going to do is plug in the value of x into this formula, and that gives me my long leg. Well, what's the value of x? 6 is. So all I'm going to do is take x square root 3, and I'm going to plug the value 6 in for x. So therefore, that long leg is just 6 square root 3. That's all you have to do is plug it into this formula. Okay, now the hypotenuse, if you go back to the rules, the hypotenuse is 2 times x. Okay, so let's write that here, 2 times x. What do we know x is in this triangle? Well, x is equal to 6, so 2 times 6, so the hypotenuse is 12. So that one's fairly easy. I, the hypotenuse to the short leg is very easy. It's just a 1 to 2 ratio. Okay, so there's what I call a forward problem. If you're given the short leg, it's pretty easy. Just multiply for the long leg or multiply for the hypotenuse. Now let's look at the second one, okay? This triangle is turned, so you have to be very careful. Here's our 30 degree angle, so let's go opposite it. That means over here, this is my short leg or my x, right? That's where x is. Now I need, I'm given, I'm not given the short leg this time, I'm given my long leg. Well, what's the formula for this long leg? The formula for the long leg, you can go back up and reference it, is x square root 3, okay? So this side is x square root 3. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set 18 equal to x times the square root of 3 or x root 3. And I'm going to solve for my short leg, solve for x. So I have to divide by the square root of 3, divide by the square root of 3, those sides cancel, and now I've got 18 divided by the square root of 3. Now that needs to be rationalized. So let's multiply it by root 3 over root 3, and that's going to give me the square root of 9 on the bottom, while well, the square root of 9 is just 3. And then 18 root 3 on top. Now this does simplify down to 6 square root 3, and that gives me my short leg. So that's 6 square root 3 for my short leg. Now I'm going to take that value for x and plug it in to find my hypotenuse. Well, what's the formula for hypotenuse? I take 2 times x. This time x, though, is the whole thing, 6 square root 3. So this is 2x, so I'm going to plug in 2 times 6 square root 3. Well, 2 and 6 are both outside the radical, so I multiply those together. I don't have anything in the radical to multiply by, so I just leave it. So that's going to be 12 square root 3, and that's the length 
of the hypotenuse. So this one ended up being 18 on this side, 6 square root 3 on the short side, and 12 square root 3 for the hypotenuse. Okay, let's go one more. Let's look at this last problem. Given the height of an equilateral triangle is 12, find the perimeter. Okay, now how are we going from 30, 60, 90s to equilaterals? Well, let's mark the equilateral triangle for a second. We know that each angle is 60 degrees. Now, where would I find the height of this triangle? Well, I would draw it straight down, and that's the altitude or the height. Well, guess what it does? It takes this 60 degree angle and breaks it up into a 30 and a 30. Now we have two 30, 60, 90 right triangles to work with. Well, we're given this height is 12, and we need to find the perimeter. Well, I'm going to isolate this left side and just focus on it for a minute so I'm ignoring the right side. Okay, I have been given the long leg. That altitude is my long leg. So I'm going to have to solve it like the second one. Okay, so I've got 12, and it's equal to the formula for my long leg. We'll go back up here. The long leg is x square root 3. So let's set 12 equal to x square root 3. Now to solve for x, I'm going to divide by root 3, divide by root 3. That's going to give me, oh, i got to rationalize it, right? So multiply by root 3 over root 3. And that's going to be, give me 12 root 3 over square root of 9, which is 3. And that all simplifies back to 4 square root 3. So that's the length of this side of my triangle, 4 square root 3. So I'm still just looking at this 30, 60, 90. Now, I know that these two triangles are the same size. So if this segment is 4 square root 3, wouldn't this segment also be 4 square root 3? Yes, it is. So that means the whole length of this base is 4 root square root 3 plus another 4 root square root 3. So when we add those together, we're going to get 8 square root 3. Okay, that's just like adding like terms. And that's the length of one side. Okay, one side of this triangle is 8 square root 3. Well, this is an equilateral triangle, so all three sides are the same length. So that means this side must be 8 square root 3, and this side over here must be 8 square root 3. So what's 8 plus 8 plus 8? That's 24 square root 3, and that is the perimeter of this equilateral triangle. Hope this video was helpful on learning some tips on 30, 60, 90 rules.